So in other words, I could set this expense up, expense account up as an other income account, which will pull it up to here and record it as a negative and make our income statement a little bit shorter without having to have two subtotal categories. Let me show you what I mean. If we go to the chart of accounts again, and I right click on the interest expense and we say we want to edit the account, edit the account, we can say, let's make it other income. That seems unnatural because it's an expense account, but it's gonna be a negative other income account in that category down below. So we're gonna say yes. And so let's go to profit and loss. Now the double entry accounting system still has to work out. It's not like you're gonna mess up net income because QuickBooks is gonna force the double entry accounting system to work. We're still at the same net income, but now we've only got this one other category. So this subtotal isn't really giving us any more detail, other income, it's really other income slash expenses, income represented with positive numbers, expenses with negative numbers, and there's our net subtotal. So it's a little, little, little bit off because of the name that it has here as other in this other subcategory but it gives you just one subcategory instead of two down below, which is a quite common way to format it and it makes your income statement a little less gaudy or a little less long with all the stuff. But, uh, and you can do that, so you can have that same principle if you had uh, unearned revenue might go to here. Any Anything that uh, you don't think is gonna be repetitive into the future, you might wanna put down in the other income and expense category because when you do a comparative income statement comparing this month to the following month, then you don't wanna really be comparing things that you don't think are gonna be continuing on into the future. That's not gonna help you to project into the future and do your budgeting.